Hello everybody, let's uh, learn uh, together with uh, Justin Stoney from New York Vocal Coach Academy. Our voice will be better, I know. Vocal coaching here in New York Thanks City. Thanks so much. Welcome to episode way. 52 of Voice Lessons to the World. The show where we want to help you guys as singers by answering your questions from all over the world. And I'll give you a chance to ask questions later. But our question for this week comes from Alex M. in Bruges, Belgium. And Alex writes, Dear Justin, I once heard a singing teacher talk about the importance of the solar plexus, but I never understood it. Can you explain it? Okay, yes, Alex, yes I can. The solar plexus, this is about the biggest deal I can possibly think of, and I'm so thankful that you asked this because I'm gonna hype this up for you guys. You better buckle up. The solar plexus can change your life. This is one of the most important things in all of singing. It can revolutionize your voice. I could go on and on about this following thing. I'm just thrilled to give you guys this information because this is a voice changer, my friends. The solar plexus. Okay, what is it? Solar plexus is essentially your upper ab region, right in through here. This is kind of the area where if you got punched in the gut, you could really get the wind knocked out of you. Now in the medical world uh, and in anatomy, this is called the celiac plexus. It's the same thing, but the anatomical world would call it the celiac plexus, but it's also known as the solar plexus, which means sun. We need a shiny solar plexus, okay? It's actually a bundle of nerves that's right in through here. So you've got the sternum, this is hard, and then right here, it gets soft. This is the solar plexus area. Now, dancers, weightlifters, people who've done a lot of crunches sometimes, have a really tight solar plexus and upper abdominal region. Now, it's not so bad to be built in the ab region. Not bad at all. But if it's so tight that it's always gripped and this core strength is just always tight, a lot of times, those folks have a lot of problems singing. And that's not a coincidence. The solar plexus region is actually an indirect muscle pair with the larynx and with the backs of the cords, the inner arytenoid muscles, whoa, okay? And so to be too tight and squeezed in through here is to be often too tight and too squeezed on the inside of the larynx. So knowing how to breathe and to produce sound absent of the solar plexus's squeeze is such a big deal, like I said, that it's crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys something today that I really hope that you try. We're gonna try it together, but I really hope you take this and run with it for the rest of your singing life, okay? Now we've done some breathing together before. We're gonna focus today on the solar plexus. Here's what I wanna see. Watch as I press into my solar plexus with my hand. If I breathe properly, I get this. This comes out. And then as I exhale, watch this. It comes out again. This is one of the only things in all of singing that does the same exact thing, ideally, on the inhale as the exhale. Watch again, I inhale, open, and then I'm gonna exhale, also open. Now I'm not pushing this out. It's because, watch again, I inhale, open, and then I'm gonna exhale, also open. Now I'm not pushing this out. It's because I've allowed my upper abs to be just so free that they are taken by the breath pressure. So I inhale, and I exhale, and these guys just say, I'm done, and they pop out, right? This means I have a very, very free solar plexus region, and it also means that I'm engaging my exhale from very, very low, which is also, as we know, a very important thing for singing. Now, I'm gonna have you guys first try this with me, and then we're gonna put it to an exercise, and I can almost promise you that you're gonna feel a physical difference in your sound production just by trying this trick. 
okay? And, I, and then I also want you to apply this, like I say, for the rest of your life, oh. please, because it's gonna be so, so great. Now, here we are together. You're just gonna press in here, right, right into the solar plexus. Again, it's not the sternum, it's below there, it's soft, okay? Then you're gonna inhale, belly's gonna come out. And then you're gonna exhale, and this should pop. So here we go a few times. Try it, it's gonna be hard for some, just try it for me right now. Here we go. Pressing and go ahead, inhale. Nice. And then hiss and pop. Good job. Here we go again. Inhale, open, exhale. Good job. Now, you can also keep the sternum a little tall when you do this. It will help you to not squeeze down. That's the tendency to exhale, squeeze down instead of exhale, pop out. Try it again. Inhale, belly opens. Exhale, this pops. And here we go. We're just going to do it one more time. Inhale, belly opens. Exhale, pop it out. Fantastic. I think you're already getting the hang of it, but work with it until you can coordinate it so that this does the same thing on both the inhale and the exhale. Now, you try it. You learn what it feels like. It's a very free solar plexus on your exhale breath. Now I'm just gonna take the simplest of possible exercises. Just a one, two, three, four, three, two, one on ma. ma I just ma, want you guys to ma, concentrate ma, on the solar ma. plexus. You can keep a hand down here if you want, but keep a hand here too. And you're gonna do like this. You can feel this guy pop out as you sing. Now here's what it's gonna be. Guys down here. Ma. ma. up here, ma. guys down here, ma. Ma. and ladies up here, ma. and here, ma. and ladies up here, ma. Three, two, one. Holding right here the whole time, feeling it expand as you sing. So here we go. Inhale. Ma.
Christ, I feel it. Okay. I feel it so really. It. I know you're oh my God! I will speak like this in the next time. Song work. And maybe you might even just <laughs> I feel so dizzy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks.